Greetings, friends and colleagues. It's Sean Elvis. So I just did a hike today, about a five-hour hike, and I'm just about finished, but uh, I'm chilling up here on top of the mountain. It's pretty peaceful and awesome. Take a look around. Pretty dope, huh? Yeah. Anyways, I just wanted to say a few things, you know. A lot of guys, you know, because I, I met a few friends the other day on the internet. And, you know, it's good to um, meet brothers that think alike. Um, but the problem is, is, you know, they're from uh, various parts of the world, you know. I'll leave my glasses on. <clears throat> but they're from different parts of the world, right? And so I was thinking today, you know, a common theme I've seen between them is, you know, they're looking for that validation from women, right? They're unmarried guys. They want to find a woman. And, you know, they, they can't find one in their local area because, <laughs> uh, newsflash, um, most of the Western women here are feminists and they, they don't want anything to do with God. Um, but that's another video. My point is, brothers are out there going out at solo. I remember I went out at solo. Um, but there's a saying goes that it says, you know, it takes a village to uh, raise a family or something like that. And my point is, is, you know, we need to band together as brothers um, locally, you know. And as hard as it seems, and, you know, it's just, just as hard as this mountain it was to hike today, you know, it seems like an impossible feat to, to climb a mountain by yourself, you know. But if you have a team of gentlemen with you, who all think alike, who are all on the same page, you know, you can help each other. And so my point of this video is just to encourage you guys to get out there, get in the trenches and, and start talking to um, men in your local area. And, and don't be afraid to, because, uh, uh, you know, what I'm going to do with this channel, it, it's the same with my Facebook and same with all my Instagram and all that stuff is, you know, everything's being censored. Everything's government controlled um, online. You know, they could take your channel down at any time. Um, things like that. So what we really need to do is we need to get localized. We need to get localized and we need to build a community. We need to build a village of men out here. And, you know, it's going to take us. You know, we are the resistance. You know, if you're listening to this message, you're the resistance. It's up to you. The responsibility lies on you to go to your brothers in your, in your neighborhood, in your local cities, in your towns, and start talking to people and start the conversation and start getting things rolling um, because we're, we're rolling against the beast. And, you know, just to keep this in a biblical perspective, uh, what is one of the first things Jesus did recorded in the Bible? Well, he was born, right? And then he studied. He studied the Bible as a, as a young child. He, he grew in wisdom. And then he went out into the wilderness and he was tempted by the devil and he succeeded. Right? What do you think I'm doing out here? I'm being tempted by the devil. I'm in the wilderness. You got to go out solo and, and, and really connect with God the Father in heaven. You see that? Beautiful sky. But anyway, you have to connect with the Father in heaven. And you can only do that by yourself. You and God and the Word um, and the Bible. And you connect with God the Father that way. And the devil will tempt you and you, and you gain the courage and um, the willpower. To, to know that you can fight the battle, you can you can pick up your Bible and you can fight off the devil with God's word. Once you're confident to do that, what did Jesus do? He went and found disciples, twelve men. You know, now I'm coming up uh, almost the same age as Jesus was when um, when he died. So, but you know, Jesus way above me. But my point is, we need to get out there and make disciples. And the only way you can do that is to get out and talk to people. And I know in this in, in this generation of uh, hate speech and and you know you say the wrong thing to the wrong person, you know you red flag laws and all that stuff. But you know what? We have to do it. You know you have to get out there. Otherwise, you know we're just going to be solo warriors and we're just going to drown in 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 uh, in this feminist um, hellhole that is this uh, that the country is going towards. Anyway, you know, that's my just my quick video. Um, I just wanted to shoot that idea out there. I had another message prepared, but um, I'm going to hold off on that because uh, that, um, that one's pretty deep. And uh, like I said, I, I don't think, I think that's too hot for YouTube. Um, 
So I'm going to keep it light right now, and I'm just going to encourage you guys to go out there and uh, talk to other men. We need to build a community of men. Stop chasing women. Put the women totally away until you have a community of men. If you have 12 disciples with you, don't even look at women. Forget about them, man. You can't. That's like trying to. That's like trying to take down a mammoth by yourself. You need your brothers. You need. You need to work as a pack, as a wolf pack, as a team. Okay. Anyway. Um, that's my video. Uh, God bless you guys, um, and have a good day. Sean Elvis out. Peace.